Welcome to that Swap Roll TV show. Coming to you from the Black Gold Casino in Doosan. How about a hand for the Black Gold? Let me check the roll call. Black Gold? <laughs> Lil Buck, I love the way the people holler. I love it. I love it. First, first taping in September. That's right. We are in September. And is it December coming up after that? Or? December and February. Yes, there's only a few months in a year. September 2nd, which means there's a lot of things that happened in September. Yeah, we got, in fact, one, one of the lot of things happening is three different Swamp Road TV show tapings in September. That's right, that's one of them. A lot of festivals. Yeah. yeah. Football yeah. season yeah. returns, and uh, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, the gumbo pots will start coming out. So. Uh, I know something else. Muscadines are ripening in September. Muscadines ripening means to Lil Buck's Muscadine wine. That's right. Muscadine dropping means we enjoy about eight weeks of fermentation. <laughs> Looking forward to that as well. All right, we're taping the show September 2nd. Two weeks from today will be September 16th. We got Damon Troy and Final Five will be here. That's going to be great. Damon has a lot of recordings that people love. Then on September 30th, as of uh, on my way over here, I heard from Terry and the Zodical Bad Boys. So we'll be Zodical with Terry and the Zodical Bad Boys September 30th. And October, well, that's like a... That's a, that's after, it comes after December, then after February, so it'll be a while before we get to October. How everything going, man? Preferred inspection? You've been checking people's houses? Everything is great. Business is going well. We, we check them outside, inside, underneath, on top. So. And the way that works, if somebody's buying a house or selling a house, and, and it's, it's pretty much the law, when in fact the, uh, the lending party wants to have it inspected, they can just go to Facebook Preferred Inspections. They can do that. They'll find you and, and, you, and make an appointment and go check it out. We do. License is insured for the whole state of Louisiana. We do work for banks, insurance companies, private uh, parties, and uh, I'm even licensed, and I have to say this. Say it. License number 10834. <laughs> All right, everything's legal right here. It's going to be great. Like I told you, if you ever you come out here to Black Gold Casino for a Swamp Road TV show taping, if you dance where the lights are at, you will be on TV. If you dance with somebody, you don't want the rest of the world to know what they do, little buck. Dance under the fig tree. That's right. Get in the shade under the fig tree. And we'll be dancing here tonight. This guy in the front or right behind me who raised up here, they live away. That's why the name of the band is not that familiar. But whenever you hear them play, you know they're coming from the right place. What's the name of the band, Lil Buck? Louisiana Inferno. Take it away, fellas. One, two. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
You know, usually at about this stage of the game, after the first two songs, we stop and talk to the band, but the music's sounding so good, we're gonna have them do one more. We go straight to commercial break, and we'll come right back and visit with Mr. Brandon Miller and Louisiana Ferno. You got one ready up in there? Hey. Let's hit up another one. Black Gold Casino, Swap Roll TV Show, in do some. Where you at? Where you at?
to that Swamp Road TV show coming to you from Black Gold Casino. You know the one, north side of I-10, do something right there. You can uh, try to look at the machines. You can eat at Rascal's Restaurant. You have the uh, shop right there. You can get some delicious food red to go right there. Boudin and something on a steak and all kind of good stuff, as well as liquor, cigarettes, and, and a good price on gas. I want to welcome to the stage right here a guy originally from here. I'm going to tell you between me and you, when you first contacted me and a band out of New Orleans, I'm figuring, Oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to tell them what that's going to could be three rub boards in the band. But, the, but whenever you sent me the, uh, a few songs and then you made reference later on, that that's what you're trying to get away from is people walking into a place and looking for three rub boards. And you're from here. It sounded great right there. Go ahead and tell Acadiana in the world what your name is and where you hail from originally. I originally hail from Lafayette, Louisiana. All right. The north side, believe it or not, around the north side. That's not far from here at all. You could ride your bike if you were still living here. You could, you could. <laughs> not that safe, though. <laughs> now, tell, uh, give us a little bit about your pedigree. I understand your dad is a musician, has played with many bands, and that. Tell us who your daddy is and the bands he's played with. My father's uh, Isaac Miller Jr. They call him the Zeekster. <laughs> um, he's recorded with uh, everybody under the sun, Steve Riley and the Mambu Playboys. He recorded with Wayne Toops. Uh, he's a steel guitar player, yeah. well known for that. Um, with Cheryl Cormier. All right. And Aldous Roger was his first recording that he did in 1969. That's the king, baby, of accordion. Always will be Mr. Aldous Roger. Well, you got a good pedigree, so you were hanging out and all of that and, and absorbing all that as a young guy. Yes, yeah, so I, I was fortunate to uh, meet Mr. Aldous, hang out with him, uh, Pee Wee Broussard, go on the road oh, with that man. guy. Oh, with his croissants all the way up to here. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you, you took good lessons. Your card and playing sounded great. Your showmanship is great. Tell us where you play at several times a week, though, in case we head out there. If you guys are ever headed towards New Orleans, we work at a place called the Tropical Isle. You can find it online, tropicalisle.com. They have very many different venues. But I think it's uh, 600 Bourbon and 610. 610. Excuse me. And they have Cajun music seven nights a week there. All right, you know, all right, terrific. We, uh, but we're the band that we, we take pride in trying to bring the purest form of real Cajun music right. there in the city of New Orleans. Because as Todd said, we take honor in, uh, right. in playing the real deal Cajun music, what I call the Lafayette style Cajun music, terrific. and we're proud of that. Well, you're doing a good job with it right there. So whenever I ask the three rubboard players, say so we don't do that, but we do this. Yeah, you're in the wrong place, except maybe later at night. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Lil Buck. I just want to say thank you for doing what you do in New Orleans because uh, everybody from here seems to end up in New Orleans and they uh, walk down Bourbon Street and they're looking for one of those uh, hand grenades. Oh, yeah. It was just so happened brings you down to 610 Bourbon Street and you walk in and you're kind of not in your normal frame of mind. Right. right. And then you sit down and you get one of these nice green drinks that's full of Everclear. And you, man, that's some great Cajun music. And you turn around and, and Louisiana Inferno. So thank you so much for doing that in New Orleans and letting the tourist world know, hey, this is really what Louisiana music's all about. Thank you. And we, uh, we'd love to see some of these beautiful people from the Acadiana area to come out here and listen to us, guys. If y'all get a chance, we play on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And nothing means more to us than getting our people from back home to come listen to us. Y'all are beautiful. We love y'all. That's right. So if you're watching this show and, you, and you're planning a trip to New Orleans very soon, and go up to them and say, man, we saw y'all on TV and do some. Right. And, and that's right. And you're playing by request, right? Yeah. We, we try, and not, not only that, we're trying to get, we're trying to get some, uh, some music and gigs out here to play. This is uh, what we want to do is we want to come back and play out here. We are playing October 8th at the Isle Capri in Lake Charles. So if y'all get a chance, guys, and want to come gamble, and uh, eat a $100 buffet, we'll be there. <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to touch on mute. But you got some more music coming up for us right now. What you got coming up for us? This is a song that my father recorded with Wayne Toops in 1984, something called Mon Ami, My Friend. All right. I would like to send this out to all the beautiful people at the nursing home that love our music, guys. Thank you all. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, indeed. Tell you what, we'll take a short commercial break because Louisiana Inferno got the place on fire. We need some water. Coming right back. Watch these messages. KDCG TV, Swamp Road TV Show, Black Gold Casino. Do some. Hey, thank you for watching those messages. And be sure you frequent those business places and tell them you heard about it on the Swamp Road TV show. The one and only Brandon Miller. Look, man, thank you so much. Your band's on fire. The people are loving it. Y'all got a whole orchestra coming out of four pieces right here. You got good guys in the band, man. I know. Uh, some of the greatest guys also in the world, too, besides being great musicians. Uh, Pyrant, always kicking over there, Pyrant. We're going to hit all those. You call him Pyrant? Call him Pyrant. We're going to talk to those guys a little bit. You have this CD right here, Louisiana Inferno, featuring Brandon Miller live. This is recorded in New Orleans, I'm thinking? Yeah, it's actually recorded live. So if you Just like, like the name implies? That's right. If you like the, the way the band sounds live, there's no auto-tune, no nothing like that. It is what it is, and it came out pretty, pretty great, guys. You got, you got some of those records over here to sell if people yeah. want them? If uh, you guys are interested in some of our music, you can talk to us after the show, and we'll hook you up. Glad. And how about after that, if they want to get some uh, sent to them, can they find you by going to the website they're seeing at the bottom of the, at the, bottom of the screen or what? Yes, you can uh, go to brandonmillinlouisianainferno.com and uh, you can go to uh, our PayPal account and purchase a CD there for a little small shipping fee. Yeah. And uh, if you want to see about booking the band, Even better. you can uh, check out Stuart Logan Productions and uh, his phone number's up there uh -huh. and um, get in touch with him and he'll see about getting us to where you may want us to be. There you go. So if they book the band, whoever books it gets a free CD. Pretty much so. That's a good deal to me. Sounds great, man. Lil Buck. We're going to talk to the guy that we're calling Pa Ren. Because I got to ask him a few questions about hey. what's going on right here. I like his whole look. I like his plaid shirt. I bet he can make moonshine, and he's a hell of a guitar player. Yes, sir. <laughs> The guy that's up at 7 a.m. from not going to bed, that if you go to jail, he'll bail you out. Man, it, this story is getting better and better. My man, your name and where you from? Well, uh, my name's Cranston Clements. I was born and raised in New Orleans, and uh, I'm learning French from playing with these guys. Brandon taught me that Pyram means old guy in French, so I'm learning. Not necessarily old. It just may be uh, somebody you could depend on uh, to get you out of a situation. <laughs> Believe me, I'll keep these guys out of trouble. That's my job in the band. These are very undisciplined young guys with a full head of steam. I like how you said that. Very undisciplined guys with a full head of steam. But anyway, I have to actually, my dad was Dr. Feelgood. He was a guitar player. I was just talking to my great friend, Ronnie Rue, who's a guitar player, who's out here checking y'all out. And you're, what you're doing tonight, you're working tonight. You know, you're covering a lot of things with the guitar. Well, i tell you what, I've been playing the guitar for longer than I'm going to mention. Because okay. I've been playing guitar longer than any of these guys have been alive. <laughs> but don't do the math. That's not that long. That's not that long. But I will say that uh, this, playing this music, it, it, it's all coming back home to me because even though I grew up in New Orleans and, and you know, play a lot of New Orleans rock and roll, but this uh, stuff that we're playing with these guys is high energy stuff that I really love. Awesome, awesome. And I want the cameraman to get a shot of this, uh, these accessories Smorgasbord. and components. And uh, you don't have to go through each of them. We don't have that time. But, uh, uh, is any of them medical related? Does anything do anything medical? The one with the red is a dialysis machine. I'm that, I, and there, there, there is a defibrillator in there. <laughs> and as I'm fond of saying, what did the heart patient say when he left? He said, defibrillator. <laughs> I like it. So there is a defibrillator. Uh, somebody's sugar gets low, we could probably work something out and maybe get a blood pressure out of somebody, right? It does keep track of my blood pressure, I'll admit. When I step on it, it doesn't do anything. My blood pressure goes way up. So there is a blood pressure machine in there. All right. So, well, Pontiac, thank you so much for coming out with this band. Absolutely. We'll visit another guy, Charlotte. But right now, who likes Belton Richard over here? Brandon, I think you got a little Belton Richard in there ready to roll, huh? Yeah, Bob, I got a little bit of it, baby. Let's do it. Louisiana Inferno. Do a little Belton Richard right here. Black Oak Casino. Do something. Down my, down my
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You can't lose with Lil Bob. I got loaded. This band rocks it out really hard. We're going to do another short set. Watch these messages. They're coming right back with Louisiana Inferno. Louisiana Inferno. Get the name. Get the number. Give them a call for your festival. Select the nightclub. Get a late gigs, family reunions, kindergarten graduation parties. to do it all. Hey, welcome back to that Swamp Roll Old TV show. Coming to you from Black Gold Casino in Do So. We come out of here twice a month, sometimes three times a month, like we're doing in the month of September. If you want to find out when this is going to happen and who's going to be here, you, all your kids, all your grandkids, get on that Facebook, go to Swamp and Roll and like that, and you're going to get an automatic message that tells you and reminds you whenever this show is coming up, like the day before and the day of. All right, who I got on the bass right here with five bass strings? I got playing a Cajun band. Can I play bass a little bit? <laughs> I got it. Don't don't mess my stuff up, man. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's that's like that's your supper and and your soul partner right here, soulmate. That's right. That's right. All right. Tell us what your name and where you're from, bud. My name is Chris Cenac. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Man, how about a hand for Chris from New Orleans right there? They... So you rode with somebody or you drove? <laughs> you better believe I rode with this man. <laughs> Sounds great. Have you ever played in a band playing this style of music before, or are you like Pare? I, I'm pretty much like Paran. This, this band really opened my eyes, yeah. to be honest, yeah. But y'all got a good rock and sound, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna re go ahead and refer back to whenever uh, Brandon got, it is his name, Brandon, huh? He got with me several months ago, and he says, hey, uh, we'd like to be on the TV show, blah, 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 and doing all this kind of stuff, and I'm taking it from New Orleans, and I'm thinking, oh, man, I don't know what that's gonna be. Then he sent me the, uh, the songs, and it was rocking. It was not quite a Wayne Tubes rocking, more like a Ronnie Matthews rocking, which is really good in that as well. But you're sounding great right there. Sounding great on the five stringer right there too, buddy. I appreciate you, Todd. We love what you do, baby. Thank you, baby. Hey, little Buck, come talk to that drummer man right there. Drummer man, your name and where you from? Brian Brignac, and I'm from Gonzales, Louisiana. Brian Brignac from Gonzales. So you must have had to walk to Gonzales and then ride over here. Y'all picked, picked the, yeah, man. <laughs> So again, um, this is probably not the first band you played in. Is this the first Cajun band playing Cajun music like this? No, the first band I played in that was Cajun was uh, Wayne Toops. All right, so you used to be a drummer for Wayne Toops. Awesome, awesome. How long ago was that? That was 94 to about 2000. Okay, awesome, awesome. So now I'm Gonzalez, playing with uh, Louisiana Inferno, and it, just hearing y'all talk off camera and, and watching y'all when y'all playing, y'all really have it going on. You're doing a great job keeping the beat, band together. And uh, just tell us how you feel about being a member of Louisiana Inferno. Man, I love it. These are a great musicians and a great group of guys. And it's just fun to show up and, and just give the good stuff every day and just try to get people to dance and have a good time, you know? What else you want to do in life? Awesome, awesome. We love it. Thank you so much for coming out to the Swamp and Road TV show. Y'all got a little something lined up for us? Yeah. It's a little something that my parent, Johnny Creda, recorded with Mr. Aldous Roger. A little something called Nobody Wants Me. It's for you, parent. All right. It's off on a real TV show. <laughs>
So Johnny Creda is your official party. That is my official party. And he's the band party. The band party. I just want to be sure I'm right on the party yeah. thing. Yeah. And you played drums at Wayne Tubes for several years. What's some of the CDs you played on? You remember? Uh, Back to the Bayou, and then the two we did in Nashville, which was more than just a little. And Tubes, yes. I didn't know that. Terrific. Good job. No wonder we like you all so much. You're rocking with it right there. You've been watching the Swap Road TV show coming to you from Black Gold Casino in Dusan. The band is Louisiana Inferno. Man, they, they on fire. They very much on fire. Ooh, the dance floor has been full tonight. And I want to thank the people here that come out here every Swamp Road TV show taping, even if they don't know the band. I think they've come to learn that they're going to like them pretty good at least. And we thank you all for coming out here. How about a hand for everybody here at the Black Gold Casino? And again, uh, coming up in two weeks, right now we're filming on September 2nd. On the uh, 16th will be Damon Troy and Final Five. And on the 30th will be Terry and the Zodical Bad Boys. And then it'll be February and December. And then we'll let you know more about that when it gets here. You've been watching the Swap Roll TV show. My name's Todd Artigo, my co-host. Brian Lil Buck Burge. You know, he got that uh, one, two, triple row accordion out. I think he's gonna do a little something kind of zodical on the way out right there. They do it all, this band, Louisiana, Louisiana Inferno. You can see in the website and the number at the bottom of the screen. If you're in the power to hire a band that you want people to dance to, believe me, this is a band you want. Everybody goes gonna love it. In the words of his dear departed dad, Dr. Feelgood, until next time. Behave your damn self. Take it away, Louisiana Inferno. Fire it up. One, two. <laughs> Cause I'm all shook up.